So I threw away a lot before the move, but I'm so excited to go through my collection and how I packed these items with you all. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel where we focus on growing healthy, natural hair. If you are new to this channel or if you just haven't done so already, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on all of the fun that we have on this channel. Today, I want to walk you guys through how I packed my products for the move that I just made from Texas to Washington. Um, along the way, you'll get to see what products I kept. And um, I also want to show you all how I packed for the plane. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started because there are quite a few products that we have to get through. These are the items that I sent with the movers. I packed a lot of items on top, a lot of soft items on top of the products because I wanted to make sure that the box was really packed so that other boxes that were packed on top would not smash down and put too much pressure on the actual products. And then later on when I am showing you all how I pack, I forget to mention that for the containers um, or the bottles that are softer or have the tops that don't screw on, I did add tape to those to keep those shut as well. But you can see here all of the products are standing up and it's packed really tight so that they do not move or tip over and everything is in a plastic baggie. So this is how I packed the plastic bags. I made sure they were really packed too so that they didn't move in the bags and it may have been overkill, but I want it to be very, very safe. Okay, so now that you got to see how that box was packed with the plastic baggies and the products inside of it, um, I do want to note that like for the oils, and this isn't a really good one to use because it looks like it's spilled everywhere, but it did that before I moved. Um, I just took a piece of saran wrap and I opened the bottle, I put it here, made sure it was tight, and then I screwed the top back on. And if I was not being lazy, I would have put a like cut cardboard or something like of the same material and just put it on the top here and probably use the saran wrap too just to be safe and then screw it on really tight and that helps the products to not spill when um, you are traveling So that's what I did for all of the oils and then some of the butters because butters do melt when they get really hot. I didn't know what states the uh, truck would go through, how hot it would be as they were traveling because it did take, I think about 13 days for the products to actually get to Washington. So I just wanted to make sure that nothing came out if they did tip over. But I did pack the bag in a way where the products actually couldn't tip over, but if the movers did like flip it or anything like that, which you never know how they are actually going to handle your items, I just wanted to make sure they were safe. And then the items that I had at the top of the box were to make sure that the box didn't cave in and nothing was under pressure. So that was something that the movers actually recommended that I do and it helped out a lot. So. None of the bottles looked like they were um, under any type of pressure. They weren't caved in or anything like that. So it really did work. And um, I would definitely do that same thing all over again, but I would probably just cut up a box or some other cardboard to make that little circular plug for the products next time. So those were the products that I felt like I could live without and I could ship and be okay. But some of the products like Innersense and um, the, the Sacred Hair Care and my Shea Moisture Manuka Honey um, Protein Powder Power Treatment, I would need to use throughout those two weeks that I was in an Airbnb, or I just didn't want them to sit in a truck for over a week. 
So the Innersense products, because they are all natural, I just didn't want them to be exposed to so much heat over all of that time. Um, so I just wanted to keep those safe. So I brought all of those with me. And what I did was the same exact thing. I put them all in plastic baggies again, and I put them in a smaller box so that nothing squished them. And then I put them inside of this duffel bag, and then I could fit other things in there. So I didn't have to carry a box around, but it was easy to get this on to um, actually checked into Southwest so that they could put it on the plane and everything was very safe and away from my clothes. So nothing spilled out in there either, which I was very happy about. And it got there the same day that I did. So I didn't have to live without those products. But really quickly, let me just take you through my collection. So again, I have a bunch of Innersense products that I really like. I have the Inner Peace Whipped Cream Texturizer, the Hydrating Hair Mask, the Quiet Calm, Calm Curl Control. So this is like a curl cream. Uh, their leave-in conditioner and their volumizing foam. This is the leave-in conditioner, Sweet Spirit leave-in conditioner, and the I Create Lift volumizing foam. I don't use that as often, but I do like that product if I want to add some hold to my um, style. Then for Curl Smith, I have the Wash and Scrub Detox Probiotic, which is their shampoo. And I always use that after using the Super Slip, Pre Super Slip Prebiotic Primer, which is like the pre-poo. So I really like these together. I did have the conditioner, but I stopped using it. And um, I just didn't want to bring it with me because it had that one ingredient in it that I talked about in the review that I just wasn't really okay with. So I do also have the Curl Smith hair makeup, which also has one ingredient that I didn't care for too much, but as long as I'm keeping it off of my skin, I think that it's okay to add a little bit of color maybe to the ends of my hair. And then for main choice, I still love their oils. I am not currently using them, the anti-breakage repair antidote and the growth oil because I am currently trying the Sacred Hair Care hair oil and the hair butter to see if this can give me the same or even more growth than those oils by the main choice. And then you probably saw my uh, braid out video and I tried the Blueberry Bliss Twist and Shout and I really, really liked it. I thought it was really moisturizing and it gave me pretty good holds. So I definitely wanted to keep that so I can try more twist outs and braid outs. Then I have the Eden Natural Hair Oil Peppermint Tree, Peppermint Tea Tree. I didn't even realize that this had tea tree in it. So no wonder I really like this. Just using things and not even knowing how good they are. So you all probably saw my video where I started using protein treatments. So I definitely had to bring this along with me on the plane because I um, just didn't know if my protein treatment day would fall within the two weeks, two and a half weeks that I was in an Airbnb. And I didn't know when I would get my um, products that I shipped through the movers. So I wanted to make sure I had this on hand. And then I have the Flawless by Gabrielle Union products, the co-wash cleansing conditioner, the leave-in conditioner, the, the hair mask, and the curl cream. And I really only brought these because I thought they would look really cute on the um, display here, which they do. So I'm glad that I brought them, but I really probably will not use these products too much. 
And then down here we have the As I Am Curling Jelly. I used this a long time ago when I first got my hair cut and I really liked how my hair turned out, but I haven't used it since. So I am gonna revisit that and see if I do still like that. Um, then I have these products from South Africa. I think they're pronounced Suki Suki Naturals. I have the whipped shea cream and the mango butter. I did not really like this too much, but I kept it because you can also use it for your skin. So I use it on my hands and body sometimes, but even that I don't use that much on my skin. But I was really desperate in Africa because I had all of these Diva Curl products with me, then the scandal happened, and I realized that's why my hair was super dry and my scalp was super itchy, so I stopped using them and I needed to find something fast. And these were the only natural products that I could find that weren't like American products. And I really wanted to try something South African when I was in South Africa. But I really did love the mango butter. And I'm using that very sparingly because I don't want it to go away. But for skin, hair, whatever, like I didn't even have a curl cream. And I would just use a leave-in conditioner and then this, and my curls looked really good. So I had to keep that. And then for Shea Moisture, I have my Coconut and Hibiscus Curl Enhancing Smoothie. I actually ran out of my little container of it, but um, these were just packets that I planned to give away for um, a giveaway prize one day. And then I have the Manuka Honey and Mafura Oil Intensive Hydration Conditioner. So I do really love this conditioner. And then my backup product has been Carol's Daughter, their sulfate free shampoo. And I just keep that on hand in case I completely run out of everything. I've had this for a very, very long time. I started using it when my hair was straight or when I was straightening my hair. So I don't really use it that much. And then I have a scalp oil that was prescribed to me by a dermatologist because when I was using Diva Curl products, my scalp got super itchy. I had these patches on it. So she thought, thought I had like psoriasis or something like that. So she gave me this oil and I never ever used it because I then stopped using Diva Curl and every symptom went away. So I never actually had to use the oil, which is crazy. But yeah, that is my entire collection. The products that I kept with me on the plane were the Innocence products, the Curlsmith shampoos, my protein treatment, and my sacred hair care products. But other than that, everything else, I felt okay shipping and I felt okay being without. So that is really all that I have to share today. Um, I also want to note really quickly that if I am traveling short term, I will just put my hair products in these two compartments and I would still use the plastic baggies to make sure that they were super secure, but I also always buy the little travel bottles and I just pour my products in the travel bottles. You can get them from Walgreens any drugstore really, Target, the grocery store, um, Walmart, and it just makes it a lot easier. Um, usually if I fill it up, I have enough for my trip, whether it be two weeks or a month. And I usually have a little bit left over once I actually get home, but I pour everything in those from the curl cream to the shampoo. So those are super important and I always purchase those before I travel. But yeah, now that sums up everything. And I really hope that you enjoyed this video, see my collection and find my tips for traveling with products useful. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And as always, I will see you next time.